In that midnight hour, when you feel like all hope is lost, you feel like, why am I even here? What am I doing here? What's my purpose? And the enemy keeps lying to you, telling you you're not worth it, telling you that you just, you don't matter. And people just pass you by like you're nothing. But you need to wake up, wake up, and arise. You matter to God. You are a champion. You are victorious. You are the one that God sees. You are the one that cries out, and He sees you. And every day is a new day. Every day is a new opportunity to engage with God, to spend time with the Lord. He created you. You have a purpose on this earth, a choice. As you are a child of the most high God, to all things the Christ that gives you strength, you are a champion, you are victorious. Go forth this day into spiritual victory. Good morning everybody, welcome back to another new me episode with your host Isaiah Velez. As always, I want to jump right into it. Let's go to Psalms 91 before I start. And declare this over your life, receive it for you and your family, amen. So it says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty and will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but they will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes the pleasure of the wicked. You say, Lord, to my future, make the most higher dwelling, no harm will overtake you, nor does to come near to him, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, and you will not strike a foot against a stone. You will tramp a lion the cobra, you will tramp the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him and with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 91. Amen. Hallelujah. Alright. Psalms. Let's go to Psalms 17 verse 6. This has been on my heart for a while. I was asking the Lord what he wanted me to share. And he brought me back to when I told the school about Jesus and it was basically a confirmation because she prayed and she was asking, you know, just the Lord hear me and am, am I valued by him, you know, she needed help. So this scripture really explains it all. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. So Psalms 17 verse 6, it says, I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. So right there, I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. And in this verse, David says that he has called upon God for assistance and deliverance. And he is confident that God will hear and answer him. So he's confident. He doesn't have no doubt. He has that faith that, you know, God's going to answer me. I stand on what the word says, and I know he will answer me. I prayed and I stand where I says, I'm not going to go back like what? Like a wave going back and forth, wondering, did God hear my prayer? Does he, did, does he know what I even asked for? But no, David had confidence that God heard my prayer and he will answer it. He will fulfill what I prayed. So basically for this school, Amber, the Lord told me to talk to her. So I walked over, sat down. I told, you know, told my name, introduced myself, and I said, hey, has anybody told that Jesus loves you? And she was telling me, you know, she, she was telling me her story, what she went through, and then she was like, you know what, I actually just asked for confirmation if he sees me. I was like, really? I said, yes, no joke, last night, I was talking to him in my bed, I was playing, and she asked God, she wanted to know if, that he hears her and he's proud of her and she wanted help. So I told her, you know, 
So the Lord was giving me what to say, and I told her that He sees you, He cares about you, and He wants you to be free. And she said, oh my goodness, that's what I was praying last night. I was asking the Lord, you know, Lord, send somebody. I don't care. She, she said, I don't care who it is. Send anybody. A man, a woman, I don't care. Just send a, a person um, just to tell me that you love me and you care about me. And then that's when I came over. She, he told me to talk to her about, about Jesus. She told, um, told me to go tell that girl about Jesus. And I did. And I didn't even know it was going to happen. But, the, but God knew. So I could have said, you know what, God, no, no, I, I, I want to go to that person at that table. If I didn't obey him, what would have happened? Right? What would have happened to her? She wanted to know that she was loved by God, that she didn't screw up. You know, she, she's not a mistake. And just like, that's why it's so powerful right here, David had the confidence, as the goal that she had, she had the confidence that God was going to send a laborer somebody to tell her that Jesus loves you, he cares about you, you're not too far gone, and you can be used by God. I always tell people that. They're not, you know, they're not too far gone. I tell people that he loves them. They are a new creation in Christ, which means the old is gone and the new is here, Second Corinthians 5, 17. Main thing I tell them, though, is let the past, you know, don't go backwards. You know, let the past just be buried. People will try to bring up your past, try to bring up your past sins. You tell them that person's dead. That person died on this day. I, I tell them, write it down, and you put your new creation in Christ. You write that down on the date and the time. And you put, the old me died this day. Some people try to bring up your past. You say, no, 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 that's not me anymore. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. I, I may look the same, but I, I, don't, I didn't do that. That's not me anymore. I'm a new creation in Christ. The old me is gone forever. The new me is here and will fulfill what God's called me to do. And so from right here, she calls on the Lord. So she said, you call on me. So she said, I will call on you, my God, for you will answer me. That's what she did. She was praying and said, God, you know, I need to answer. I need to know that you love me, you care about me. Send somebody to tell me that you love me and you care about me. And then she said, turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. And that's what God did. He turned his ear. And he said, you know, I hear your prayer. I hear the deepest cry of your heart. That's why I told her also. I told her that God hears the deepest cry of your heart. And you know, God was touching her. She was she was crying. And I was just telling her, I said, you know, God hears your deepest cries of your heart and he loves you very much and he wants he is gonna do great things in your life. And I said, Okay, what do I have to do? And I said, first of all, you have to give your life to Jesus. Because he wants to be saved, he wants to be a new creation. He will not force himself on you, he only comes where he's wanted. So she said the prayer, and she got saved and born again. I prayed over her, and then once she opened her eyes, she said it was, once she opened her eyes, it was just different. She knew it was different, and she just experienced everything differently. And she had that, but the main thing is she had confidence that somebody was going to talk to her. She didn't know, maybe she didn't even know it was going to be today, that day. Maybe it was going to be a different day. But if I didn't go, who? Then what would have happened? God would have to send somebody else. So when He tells you to go do something, you don't just leave. You don't say, "Ah, oh, God, you know, I'll, I'll get to that now." I'll, the, somebody else will take care of it. Send somebody else. But God's called you specifically to talk to that one person about Him, because the love of God inside of you and the Holy Ghost inside of you—they want to hear what you have to say, and they want to know that they are valued by God and that they're not a mistake and that he loves them no matter what they've done no matter I tell people that no matter what you've done it doesn't matter because he will wash you cleanse you of all sin no, it doesn't matter what you've done and they tell me the story I say okay but you're not your past you're not your past and they say so I haven't made too many mistakes and not too far gone no absolutely not 
when you get saved born again, every single thing that you did is gone and is finished. Because you step into a new dimension with God, you step into a new relationship with the Lord, and you say, Father well, God, you know, take me, do, just take my life and do something with it. I want to be used by you, and I will not let nobody else get in the way. I tell people that, I say, don't let no family members get in the way, friends, anybody, don't let nobody get in the way of what God's called you to do, your destiny. Don't let nobody stand in your way, because there will always be that person to say, ah, are you sure God's called you to do that? I mean, I don't really know. Do you hear from God? Do you hear from the Lord? So that's why I tell people, if you know God's called you to do it, then you run with it. Don't question it. Don't doubt it. Don't tell, you know, be careful who you tell. Use discernment. Because some people will try to crush that dream, try to crush what God gave you. Because they couldn't fulfill the destiny. So they're trying to crush your dream. They're trying to crush your destiny. Don't let that happen. So you have that confidence every single time as well to put your faith and say, God, you know what? Help me in this situation. Deliver me, set me free. God, I need your help in this situation. Just like for that young girl, she had that confidence to say, you know what, God, send somebody, any person to tell me that you care about me and you hear my prayer and you hear my cry. And so all of this, Psalm 17, 6, was for her because just those simple words. I didn't, you know, use these big words. I, I, I don't do that. And to be honest, I don't even understand what they mean in a way. But I just said simply, Jesus loves you. You're a new creation in Christ. The old is gone, the new is here, and he hears your cry. He cares about you very much, and you're consecrated with God. You and him are together, united in unity, in sync together. And man, she was, God was touching her in a powerful way. Very powerful. So for you right now, I tell you that Jesus loves you very much. And no matter what you're going through, he is with you to the end. And you can be a new creation in Christ Jesus today. The old is forever gone. We can't change what happened yesterday. We can only look ahead towards the future. We can only look ahead because that's where God is. God's not in the, in the past. He wants you to look forward into the future on your destiny, on your, on the path He has for you. He's already prepared it for you. What do we have to do? Well, first of all, you have to get saved and born again. So let's do this right now. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me, forgive me my sin. Wash me. Cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, thank you that you died for me. I believe that you have risen from the dead and you will come back again for me. Fill with the Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the lost and a hunger for the things of God and a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am saved, I am born again, and I am forgiven, and I am on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. So, amen, amen, amen. Let me pray for you, Father God. Thank you so much now by your blood, by your spirit, Lord. That on that day, God, they send for you, not woman missing, God, ways and powerful, a packed generation, break of a demonic attack, every attack from hell against them right now. I speak the blood to your every people. Favor, favor, favor. They will go forward every single day in the name of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. He said, pray our heaven rejoice over one sinner that comes to repentance. Just one. So our heaven is rejoicing right now. Hallelujah. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this. Like it, share, comment, do whatever you guys got to do to get the word out. Remember, you are a new creation in Christ. The old is gone, and the new is here, and you are consecrated with God Almighty. So I love you, God loves you, God bless you, and I will see you guys next time.